Hey guys, Stefel here. Today I would like to talk about submission to the marketplace I'm currently preparing. And this is a quick video about, uh, about this. Uh, so I prepared two different looks, like you, you can see this uh, gray and, uh, and wood with diff uh, different templates. And if you haven't seen the previous video about templates and uh, writing or making U widgets, uh, exposing some look and uh, making them usable in the Unreal Engine. Uh, somewhere in the screen, there should be a link right now, maybe on the top. So yeah, you can just jump quickly to the previous video. But in this video, I would like to go through uh, all the elements I'm exposing or I'm just writing as slate widgets. Uh, and I think all of them are quite useful, but maybe you have different idea uh, which elements should be exposed, which are lacking in the Unreal Engine 4. Maybe you have also idea of new slate widgets, which would be worth to uh, write. So yeah, uh, first element is just simple uh, advanced button. Uh, so I wouldn't say simple because it's advanced. So uh, basically it uh, contains a uh, text already inside. This text can be uh, alignment, like vertical aligned to the left, right, uh, to the bottom. And uh, text of course can be set uh, everything from the text is exposed. And this is like one simple widget which can be used in your project. So you don't have to worry about placing textes or placing a uh, look of, of, of this widget, it can be re reusable and this uh, default look can be changed in the base class and it's simple like that. Then we have these two checkboxes which are just toggle buttons, one is toggle and one is untoggle. Then we have simple scroll uh, slider which is moving from left to the right but we have also two-dimensional slider right here and this object is quite new so maybe I will just jump and quickly show how it works. So whenever I just drag and move this it's just getting values to 1, 1 from 0 to 0. So somewhere here should be like 50%. Yeah, like here is 0, 0. Okay, so you just move in two dimensional and get values from this. Uh, you can track uh, events from this. So whenever event fires, you can just print this on the screen. This is quite simple. Then you have this input box, input field, which is quite different than normal one. I will just also quickly show because you can select both corners it has padding but it has also text margin which is quite different it can be aligned to the left right and center and yeah it has some other uh, specification too uh, then you have this uh, multi-line selection uh, multi-line mm, box uh, which has also uh, only custom look i think uh, then you have a radio button line where you can select one element at once and you have also checkbox line uh, if I just jump back so whenever you change uh, this radio button line uh, default selection index from 0 to 2 for example it's just changing this default uh, real time because it's updating on synchronized properties which is quite nice then you can just remove one element that's uh, simple like this. And this radio button line is also here. And uh, these elements are toggle buttons. So instead of using normal checkbook, uh, checkbox or radio button look, here is just maybe not default, but this one, what, what is interesting that default look has also this radio button line look. So if I just uh, do this like this, it's just black. Mm look okay so this uh, radio button line toggle uh, are working basically the same like this radio button line so whenever i change something here it's just two right now three i can also remove one of the elements but yeah and i can also change orientation of these so uh, when i change orientation to horizontal it will be like this and when i change back it's like this uh, should be the same in this one. So when I change to vertical, it's like this. I can put this back. You can also set margins, paddings, and whatever you want. So this is just one simple uh, U widget, which is not user widget. Uh, I'm repeating this. 
uh, once again then you have this spinner spin box when you can spin this mm, right side and you can change values then you have combo box and more interesting you have exposed content directory tree which is a more complex uh, widget in the unreal engine as you can see this is on the left side and it's working basically the same whenever you change uh, one of the item selection it's just firing one event whenever you collapse or open it's it's doing the same so it's basically the same element uh, i will show it uh, in a one moment and you you can also customize look so you can change the selection of these elements uh, every row can have different look different brush but also this expanded icons and collapsed icons uh, can have different looks so let's change this maybe this red one of course it can be smaller we don't need this so big and now content is this devil uh, icon but yeah let's let's reset this okay so this is my content directory tree but if you don't want to use your content uh, um, directory uh, you can just use custom nodes starting from root uh, node uh, going through the child uh, and and deeper deeper defining child nodes and you can use your custom uh, tree as well so it's kind of handy and it, it can be just used in the project uh, for debugging or something then you have exposed multi-selection list which is basically the same like here so where you can multi-select uh, many options at once uh, which is kind of cool uh, you have also these options you can add more options you can define more headers or just columns you can define look of the header you can define uh, whenever you select something colors of selection and this custom uh, rows and and go on and go on so it's just really handy as well you can also uh, change the size of these columns uh, in your game and last thing but not least i exposed uh, rich text box which provides uh, some interesting feature you can style uh, set style for this text as, make this uh, red you can also make outline but what is really important and really interesting i expose these icons so these can be placed between uh, text as, and you can define set of your icons so for example here i'm just using default editor icons but here I just imported, uh, imported two different uh, custom icons. So you need 20 gold to buy more water. So yeah, uh, this is basically simple like this. Uh, I think this is everything from the gray testing. Uh, so now we can just quickly change to the second one, which is wood. And when I jump to the wood uh, widget, you can see how this button can be uh, moved to the left top corner this is also one of the elements i also expose color picker but rest things i think are the same besides these two elements which are just collapsing whole tree and expanding whole tree but yeah but everything can be defined in one place in uh, like parent class so that's kind of handy let's also jump here let's change the look let's select some elements let's make this uh, collapsed or expanded collapse expanded let's make this collapse here expanded here expanded collapse expanded yeah so basically that's everything for this let me know which elements are missing in unreal engine which would you like to see uh, i'm planning to make some charts drawing elements like custom drawer exposed uh, and some other things Okay, so that's everything for this video. So if you have any suggestion about exposing some UI elements in Unreal Engine 4, please leave the comments. And of course, if you like this video, please uh, use like button and uh, subscribe because it helps me uh, a lot running this channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.